Pisces, welcome to your just-in-time tarot reading. And if you're watching this, Pisces, trust that there is a message here for you. And that begins with the energy is gaining momentum. Things are building. Things are growing. Um, this is a beautiful energy of results coming or things kind of heating up. Things are heating up. Heating up towards that full moon energy. This is the waxing moon, right? Where it's like we're in the earlier stages of something that's going to be big. All right, Oracle of the Angels. And here goes the power card. Yes. But what I, I see in this card here, Pisces, is clearly the Ace of Swords. And that's a breakthrough and that's a victory. Now, a um, few different things. You might have had a powerful idea or insight that you are, are using to create something here. And if so, that is growing and things are building. Um, the, the Ace of Swords is also associated with truth or clarity of direction. So maybe you've started moving in, in a new direction. And because you have, things are, are flowing. Like, you know, when you are sort of, you turn the corner into the right uh, situation for you then all of a sudden the right people places things or everything starts to fall into place and flow I'm also getting that from this now it feels like you're also using your power or you're being asked to that could be asserting boundaries that could be asking for what you need that could be taking more action having difficult conversations with the sort of power you are cutting your way through through the path here all right Going to the beautiful Moonchild Tarot from Danielle Knoll. And the first card out is The Lovers. Okay, Gemini energy for me. You might be working in a the area of a romance or partnership. There might be energy gaining momentum here with somebody, something heating up in a connection. Now, outside of that, The Lovers is a card of harmony. Like, you know, I talked about that getting into that flow state or things coming into balance where they're just sort of like you're still having to tend to them and do the work but there's also an element of it starting to take off on its own now sometimes the lovers is a decision or a choice point around a matter of the heart and maybe that has led to new momentum in your life yeah i've got the ten of pentacles here and you could be like some examples that are coming through you could be working towards uh buying a home with a partner you could be working towards uh, an early retirement or you know retirement now you could be building your finances ten of pentacles is house home family finance um and it's the ten right it is money it is abundant so it feels like the energy is gaining momentum around a goal in one of those areas and things are coming into balance things are coming into harmony or there's a breakthrough Ace of Swords in one of those areas. Divine Wisdom's coming through, which is interesting because this is an extra major arcana in this particular deck. And I always say it's some kind of powerful download or insight. And we spoke about that when I saw the sword, like an idea or an aha moment, epiphany, that could have been changing your strategy a little bit trying things differently. If there's sort of an idea or that might seem left field, you're being asked to give it some attention here because it could just be the very thing that moves things ahead or quickens things four of cups is here because the four of cups for me is an energy where there's a big dream that you want to go after right or you're really trying to get to the full realization of a hope dream wish or goal okay but it's almost like a point where you've stopped and you have reevaluated and reassessed that's where that insights come through now whatever you determined out of that reevaluation period or will be because you're being asked to do that if you haven't already it's going to be a powerful breakthrough it's going to lead to things speeding up towards that beautiful goal so that is a really nice message it's like a quantum leap forward or almost bypassing in a way now i've drawn the nine of swords and this is an energy where we can feel like there is a lot of um, there's a lot of factors against our progress, right? But the message is that it's in the mind because it's all of the sword's energy, which is intellect. This can be like a worst case scenario thinking, or you know, oh, I'm never going to get ahead, or 
you know, this will never happen. You have to try and keep that under control because that most definitely will put energy out there that's going to be counterproductive to you getting that result that you truly, truly desire. Instead, the High Priestess says, come back to your inner wisdom because your inner wisdom, your higher self knows you can absolutely achieve this goal. Now, she says, you're at an important threshold right now and there is a big leap in growth coming. She's also an all will be revealed energy. So whatever that truth was, whether it was an, a download, your own idea or a truth that you learned from somebody else, it feels like it is a powerful piece here for the progress here. Now temperance has come through represented by a divine being or a guardian angel energy. There is a spirit guide I feel that is working with you right now, dropping in some signs or dropping some breadcrumbs along the path here for you to follow here. So we have like a divine breadcrumb pathway here. You are being guided. And temperance for me is a divine sweet spot where everything lines up and then we have like this this kind of like resonance met where we just leap forward, okay, because everything's come together at the right time, right conditions, people. Um, so I just think that you're about to take a quantum leap forward with a major goal. You're being asked not to let the mind, the monkey mind, get in the way and to follow those divine breadcrumbs that you are getting. Don't doubt them because your intuition is really, really strong right now. So I'm going to leave it there and I hope you enjoyed this message. Pisces, if you'd like a personal reading to tune into your specific circumstances, the first link below will take you to my website where you can check those out and do follow along on Instagram. Daily readings happening over there. Lots of more, you know, diversified content, which I can't do so easily over here. I'd love to have you with me. And for now, I'll just wish you all the love and magic. Bye for now.